We're going to go over the written performance exercises second hour. We're going to go over chapter five, first hour. During break, it should be about uh, 17 or so of you have been assigned part of the exercises to put on the board. Most of the exercises we're going to do orally. We're going to go around the class. For some of them, we need to draw heads and to uh, write out transcriptions. So we're going to do that second hour. During the break, you put your answers on the board, those of you who have been assigned an exercise. So, does anybody have any questions before we continue? We're going to be pushing through chapter five quite quickly. We still have chapter four to get to, so that's going to be even faster. So if you are able, try to read the chapter yourself. Bring your questions to class, it will save us all a lot of time and you'll get more out of it. Rather than just kind of tagging along passively as we're doing things in class, you need to read ahead chapter five and go to chapter four when you have a little yuli, you have a little extra time and energy. And we're going to go that, through that one really fast. Okay, that's it. We're going to uh, continue with chapter five now. Exercise the second hour. Let's go to our next reader. Okay. In reading spectrograms, the first and most basic observation to make is that there are three basic types of sounds. A stop appears as a white gap, silence, followed by a very thin vertical stripe, the release burst. You can see this pattern in the p of pr both productions of opposite in figure 5.1. All right, everyone stop at that point and find the part on the spectrogram that is being referred to in the text, the p and opposite, we have a white space. Why? Because opposite, op, we have silence. And then p, we have a release. There's a burst. So we're going to see a long vertical line. The silence is the hold phase of the stop, right? Hold. Remember approach, hold, release? Do you remember that from the tutorial? This is the hold phase. We're holding that air under pressure inside of our oral cavity, and then when we release it, it makes noise, and that's that long vertical spike. Let's go on. Fricatives appears as dark patches near Once more, the fricatives. Appear yeah. as dark patches near the top of the spectrogram. Spec spectrogram. Not Karen? Spec. Spectrogram. Yeah, okay. This of opposite is visible in both productions as Produ not productions, production. Production. Yeah. Production. Productions. Productions. Uh -huh. As is the sh of direction. The third basic type of uh, sounds includes vowels. Approximate. The third basic type of? A basic type of sound. Right. Includes vowels approximants and nasals and has anywhere from two of two of five hmm? roughly from from x to y right from two of from huh? two to right. five roughly parallel horizontal bands generally with one band be below a thousand hertz hertz on the vertical scale scale one between 1,000 and 2,000 hertz, and another between 2,000 and 2,000 hertz. 2,000 and? 3,000 hertz. Hertz, okay. Hertz is repeated so we don't stress it. 3,000, 3,000 3, 3, hertz. 3,000 hertz. 3,000 hertz. Or 3,000 hertz because thousands repeated as well. Let's find all those. We already talked about the stop. We also have fricatives. What do fricatives look like on a spectrogram? Fifth line. Everybody? Dark patches near the? Why are they near the top? Because on a spectrogram, the vertical axis shows us what? Reflects what? Zhizhou, 它显示的是什么? 
Hertz, which is frequency, right? Hertz means how many vibrations per second. So the vertical axis shows us frequency. And if those dark pack patches are towards the top of the spectrogram, what can we say about those patches? What can we say about fricatives? That's right, they have high frequencies. Shh, ah, shh, ah is very low compared to shh, which is very high. When you have fricative noise, you get a lot of high frequencies. And that's why they are very hard to hear over the phone because the phones don't give us those high frequencies. Phones only go to something like 3,500, 3,700 hertz. So older people as well will have trouble hearing them because as we get older, after age 18 or 19, you start losing your higher frequencies. Isn't that scary? You're already getting old. Your ears are already getting old. Babies have the best hearing, little babies. Their hearing is really, really good. But after you're 18 or 19, you start going downhill. You start losing very slowly over life, losing the higher frequencies. So that's why it's harder to tell the difference between f and, s and f when you're older or you're speaking on the phone. So those dark patches are, f are fricatives with high frequencies. And then we have a third basic type of sound, including three kinds of sounds. Vowels, approximant sand, Nasals. These will have those dark bands we mentioned in class last time, which are, they reflect what? Louder? Syllabics are included. You can put them in that category. Not all of them are syllabic and mm, can be syllabic. But what are those black bands? We talked about it last time. We've got one, two, three, four black bands, right? Everybody knows what I'm talking about? I know the image is really tiny here, but one, two, three, four black bands, right? Those are formants. Those are formants, gong zhen feng. That's what those are. When, remember when we were talking about the creaky formant and the whisper formant, or the whistling formant, F1 and F2? These are F1, F2, F3, and F4. We don't need F4 for phonetics. We usually don't use F4. Occasionally we do, but very rarely. F1 and F2 are the very most important. F3 is also important for R's for rounding. Okay, mainly for R's and rounding. Those are the two big things that we need the F3 for. <clears throat> okay, so you can see with this third type of sound, we get formants. That means those are not reflections of what's happening at the glottis. Just是呃身在这边一开合的那个作业啊，那是下面有个所谓的voice <coughs> 不会超过大概五百平常 Unless you're singing soprano, it will go over a thousand But that's singing soprano 可是平常讲话几乎是五百以内左右 So 下面那个黑灰的这一条 那个是 voice bar 那表示有 voicing 你如果看不到那就是那个部分是没有 voicing的 If it's all white, there's no voicing Everybody look up here, you can't see the picture really clearly But 就是最下面这一二三四条佛门下面就是 这样子是一条，不是最深的黑色，那个是 voice bar，表示有 voicing，没有它的时候就是没有 voicing. So those are things we can get from the spectrogram. With voice sounds, you will see a voice bar. You will also see these four formants. We don't need the fourth one. We'll talk about three. Okay? So those are formants. Those are resonances happening in your mouth. Remember when I was making shapes with my hands, so the first one was lower, the second one was higher. That reflects the resonance of the space I'm making with my cupped hands. The same thing happens in our vocal tract. Just for those of you who can understand this much, and for those of you who are going on, 
有了这个印象以后会比较好学。So those are formants that you see with vowels, approximants, and nasals. They're all voiced. With voicing, you're going to see those resonances in the vocal tract. All right. So if you don't get it out, it's okay. Just ting what you, and we'll come back to it in the future. It says they have. Go ahead. Has anywhere from two to roughly five parallel horizontal bands, but we only care about the first. The only horizontal bands that we care about really for phonetics are the first. 多少个 First two are the most important. We actually care about F3 too, rounding and Rs. So we really only care about the first three formants: F1, F2, F3. 其他我们并不太关心 They don't tell us information about individual sounds that we need to know. Most of that information you'll find in the first three formants. Okay, let's continue. You can see that the unstressed, unstressed vowels of the first opposite are quite. Short in duration, less than 0.05 seconds on the. Ah, 那个不要不要那个数字后面断。Uh, five seconds. Less than 0.5 sec. 0.05 seconds. Once more. Less less than 0.05 seconds. Once more. T is like a stop. 然后不是 seconds, it's seconds. <coughs> so it's all right. So less than 0.05 seconds. Watch less. Seconds was the a, and then point you will go stop. Okay. Less than zero. You're saying less. It should be less. Less. Yeah. Less than than zero point zero five seconds. Zero point. Zero point zero five seconds. 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 There we go. Opposite, so that it is now pronounced opposite. Uh, did you skip a line? Really? Oh, sorry. Seconds on the horizontal scale, and one of the two has completely vanished v in the v vanished mm -hmm. in the second opposite, so that it is now pronounced opposite. There are another indication. Opposite. Op opposite. It's, there's no there's no vowel there at all. Opposite. Op uh, opposite. Opposite. Yeah, the schwa disappeared. Opposite. Mm -hmm. There are another indication. There are what? Another huh? indication. Other other <laughs> indications of reduced pronunciation in the second production of this word, all of all of the all all of all of the segments Seg segments mm -hmm. are shorter. The first vowel has no steady 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 not state, steady 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 yeah. steady st state portion. See how the segments are shorter. The First vowel has no steady steady state. Oh my God! The f uh, see how the second highest start band goes down in frequency throughout the vowel, where in the first production there was a plateau. 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 No, no, no. Plateau. Why is it male tap? Plateau. Plateau. Why is it male tap? Very good. The second syllable stress plateau. We wouldn't say plateau. But now, 后面有重音的话就没有 tap. Plateau usually. Okay. Plateau, and this is lighter at the top of the spectrogram. Spec spectrogram. Yeah, your systematic, your pronunciation is good overall, but 很多 a 会念 a， 很多 a 会念 a. Um, so they're just giving you a short introduction to spectrogram reading. We've looked at stops. Voiceless stops, they're all white, and then we get what after the burst? After we release the stop, what do we get? Up. What do we get after the white part in the spectrogram? A long, what kind of line? What kind of line? Can go back to the beginning of the paragraph to find it. It's the second line. A stop appears as a white gap, silence, followed by a very what's the rest? Thin vertical stripe, which is the release burst. Okay. Look again at the P in opposite. Everything's white, and then 突然间有一个直线，那个是那个爆音，楚楚的那个爆音。
first. The second thing we looked at was fricatives. Look at the fricatives. You can just look towards the top part of the spectrogram. How do we find the fricatives? Look for right dark patches in the upper half of the spectrogram. Those are everybody. With the first one, we were talking about stops, especially voiceless stops. With voice stops, they're similar, but they're shorter and they have voicing. So the first one was about voiceless stops like P. The second one, those dark patches in the upper uh, part of the spectrogram are fricatives. There we go. Very good. So we've covered stops, fricatives. And the third thing we're looking at are the voice sounds like vowels, approximants, and Nasal says, everybody found it? If you haven't found it, make sure you find it. I'm not going to give you detailed questions on spectrograms, but we do need to understand this much since it's already here at the, in this chapter. And it says that they have anywhere from two to roughly five parallel horizontal bands. What are they called? What, what, are those, what do those bands reflect? Those are the? 就是黑黑的一二三四那些黑条是什么? Uh, the lines here, the dark lines that go across here. What are those? 讲过一次,已经第二,第三遍. Formants. Formants. Where are the fricatives? Where are the fricatives? Where do we see the fricatives? Right, upper half of the spectrogram. It may go below the half mark, but the upper part of the spectrogram. That's where we see fricatives. They're dark, and they have what kind of frequencies? High frequencies, OK? So have we covered that now? Everybody knows the white patches for stops, especially voiceless stops. The second one was fricatives. We look for on the spectrogram. Where do we look for, for fricatives? What part of the spectrogram? The upper or lower part? OK, and what do we see? Dark patches. OK, we're clear now on those two things. The third thing was vowels, approximants, and nasals. Those are the ones that have the four bars. We may see five bars in some cases. Actually, there are more. But we only care about how many of those bars? Three, the first three bars. These three bars at the bottom. Okay, Everybody knows what we're talking about? Is there anybody who does not know? If you don't know, raise your hand and our TA will help you. Okay, um, Sophie, can you help Amy show her where the bars are that we're talking about, the fricatives? I'm sorry, the formants? Okay, Amy, you know what we're talking about? Anybody else raise your hand if you want a TA to show you where the bars are? Okay, good, show Karen. Let's do it this way. I'm going to show all the people in the front row, and then you show the people behind, and then everybody show the people behind you. OK? Here. 一二三四,一二三四,只有四条,这些是formants,就是公正风. One, two, three, four. Got it? Is it clear? OK, you're going to have to go to the people behind you and show the rest. One, two, three, four, 这些黑条. Those are the formants. Tell the people behind you. OK? Because you're responsible for this material, and you're responsible for telling us if it's not clear, because we'll make it clear if it's not. This, this is no time for shyness. It's never time for shyness in class. OK? Unless you have a teacher who tells you to always shut up. All right. <laughs> and I don't think that happens. <laughs> not at the university. Those are the formants you're going to see with what three kinds of sounds? Vowels. Approximants, nasals, what do they all have in common? Why do we put those in a group, do you think? They're all voiced. They're all voiced. In addition, they are all, well, approximants less so. But the other two are definitely continuants. So we see them spread over a period of time. The approximants, we can put them together with continuants because they're definitely not stops, but approximants are shorter. They are continuants, but they're shorter. Nasals and vowels can be quite a bit longer. All of them, 
will show up on a spectrogram with those four bars. Those are formants. 那是口腔里的一些共鸣 We don't need to go in detail about it. If you just know that they are resonances in the upper vocal tract, 就是你的声道的这个脖子以上的地方的一些共鸣的反应，你知道这个就可以了。There are resonances. That means 你的口腔里面有各种空间，<咳>它把声带发出来的声音，然后有一些音会加强，有一些会减弱，等于是这样子。这是被加强的音，就是一条一条的 formants. Okay, if you heard that much, you don't understand it a hundred percent. It's not important now, but you need to know that these lines will reflect these voice sounds, vowels, approximants, and nasals. And you will see what range they are in. Do they? Do those? Do the first three formants go as high in frequency as the fricatives? Yes or no? The first three formants, 就是前面的我们讲的最重要的三条那个 formants 那些黑带，它会像 fricatives 频率那么高吗 ？Yes or no? No, they're not so high. 它们在下面一半 ，fricatives 在上面一半。然后那是噪音 ，fricatives 有没有看出很多一条一条的？其实是有一些，可是没有那么明显。可是那个是在上半部啊。的那些噪音会看得出来，下半下半部就是那三种 voice sounds， 有一条的 formants 看得还蛮明显的。Are we okay so far? Questions? Ask questions, please. That's your responsibility. Please don't complain later that it wasn't clear, because you have to ask. Now, another thing they want you to look at is look at opposite. 它上面有写字，然后有一些箭头。那 opposite。Opposite, 最后一个母音是什么母音 ？Opposite， 是刷。那你看的这三个箭头，就看得到那个刷的 spectrogram 长得什么样子。那个刷很长吗 ？Look at, uh, the first word is the opposite, the opposite. 那个 e, if you look here, 这个第一条最黑的那个是 the 第一个母音 the opposite。那个很长。Because the opposite, so, is that schwa very long? No, it's very short. So that's what they're telling you. And ta di er zi chu xian de shi hou opposite shi na ge zui hou yi ge jian tou wang you de zui hou yi ge jian tou. 根本就看不到一个母音在哪里 Opposite, opposite, upper 就是 upper 里面的那个 er. So opposite. Uh, I think. Oh, sorry. They're probably talking about upper. 那个刷 opposite 它是有两个刷的 So upper 那个会更短 Sit 会稍微长一点，因为它是最后一个音节 So opposite upper per. 我我讲的应该我我应该讲的是那个第一个刷 upper upper. All right. 第三个是 sit. 那那个是也很短 Opposite 也短可是 upper 那个 er 是非常短 Okay. Um, then in the second one, opposite, 它连那个音节都没有念出来，那个刷都没有了。Opposite, opposite, 那个刷就消失了。And that often happens. We had a web page on it. Like family becomes family, evening becomes evening, etc. 所以刷它没有重音的时候，然后有三个音节以上的字，它常常根本就消失了。Opposite, opposite. Okay, 可以吗？ Um, let's finish. There are other indicators of reduced pronunciation in the second production, um, where in the first production there was a plateau. That's right, I remember the plateau, um, where the s is lighter at the top of the spectrogram. So, opposite 第二次的时候，你看那个 s 第一个 s 跟第二个 s 来比，上面那个最最黑的在上一半，那个是 s 的噪音，是第一次比较黑还是第二次比较黑？第一次，因为第一次比较强调，第二次已经是重复的，所以不会那么强调，会比较轻。颜色的深浅代表什么？颜色的深浅代表什么？声音的大小。So， 直轴 shows us what？ Frequency， good。横轴 shows us time， time， 那是时间的流流失啊，就是 time。然后呢？深浅就是什么
loudness. So we have three dimensions. This is 三度空间的，有三个不同的，有这是三维空间。All right. Uh, so now we're ready for the next reader. Go. Uh, Tina, when words are said in community speech, they may speech be, speech yeah, they may be pronounced with varying degrees of emphasis, and this results in varying degrees of devi deviation d d d deviation from the citation from form. From watch the M. From from yeah. The citation form,、mm -hmm. which can be take, taken as the most em, em, emphatic, phonetically full form of the word. Not for full. Everybody full. 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 All right. I'm going to have you stop there, and we're going to try to rush through it a bit. So when we say words in connected speech, they're quite different from the way they sound in isolation. Is that right, Stanley? Stanley asked me a question after class last time. He says, "Why do they say this so clearly all the time?" When I checked the sound files, well, what was Stanley using for sound files?、Uh, long right. He was using sound files from an online dictionary. So, in the dictionary, what kind of pronunciation do we get? The citation form. When words occur in running speech, they are going to be reduced. A lot of things are going to change. We're going to have a lot of assimilation. 很多同化的现象，还有很多 reduction 也会弱化。So 同化和弱化 ，assimilation and reduction. We'll find a lot of that in running speech. And it says in chapters three and four, we didn't go to four yet. We discussed rules for consonant and vowel allophones that help us describe the patterns of pronunciation found in citation forms. The range of phonetic variability found in connected speech is a good deal greater and more subtle. That means. 只要是在讲话的这个溪流当中，我们讲的那些规则有，可是会更夸张了，会更弱化，更有这种同化现象。Things will mush together more in speech. They will be influencing each other more in speech. 你单独念一个音，一个音很清晰的念是没有问题。But when we're speaking, we don't do that. Just like the example we had before of 计程车，计程车，计程车，计程车。If you're going to read it to a foreigner, what would you say? How do you say taxi? 计程车 You would say it very clearly. But if you're going to, if you're in a hurry to get to class on time, you have to take a taxi. Ah, 我们搭计程车好了 right? 计程车 You're not going to say 计程车 Or 万一 We don't say 万一 It's 万一 And that's going to happen even more when、uh, in in running speech. Okay. Uh, so the range of phonetic variability is is even greater and more subtle than what you find in citation forms. So 那些规则是用于 citation forms. 那讲话中会更严重了 So it's very hard to describe the sound patterns of conversational speech as alternations among phonetic symbols. Quantitative measurement of duration, amplitude, and frequency is often a more insightful way to pre proceed. Uh, I see a,、uh, a printing mistake, a typo. What should it be? Top line, the first line of 109. Cross out one letter. Which letter? The S in ways. This is 错的 This is 单数 Is often a more insightful way to proceed. So instead of describing each individual sound like we did in the in the allophonic rules. We're going to be using different ways to measure the sounds of connected speech. What are they? We're going to use. We'll buy. 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 We'll Loudness and then the physical measure of amplitude in Chinese is called 振幅振，可以震动的振，幅度的幅，振幅 has nothing to do with politics. All right, so 振幅 and frequency, 频率 those are the three things we're going to measure because the sounds get changed so much and so much together. It's hard to talk about each individual sound. We're going to measure these three things. Says, nevertheless, some useful observations about phonetic reduction in conversational speech 
can be based on careful phonetic transcription. 不过同时，我们如果做我们的记音工作做得很仔细，我们也可以观察到很多讲话中会发生的一些状况，一些特别的现象。The key difference between citation and citation speech and connected speech is what the variable degree of emphasis placed on words in connected speech. This is something that is not emphasized much in English education in Taiwan, in my observation. If it's changed, somebody tell me. But there is less emphasis, pardon the pun, placed on emphasis, on stress, in teaching English in Taiwan. 你们老师以前非常重视重音吗 ？Julia? No. Anybody else? Ruby? No. 没有非常重视重音。Now, if somebody, if you were teaching Chinese. 你如果没有非常重视声调，你觉得可以吗 ？That's the one thing you will not compromise on, right? 中文再怎么样 sloppy， 机动车 ，your consonant is gone, your vowel is changed, but you will not compromise on tone. All right? Actually, tone 它很多种奇怪的一些实现的方式 ，but no matter what, that tone has to be solid. You have to know what you're doing. You can't just say anything. If the tone is wrong, it's not good Chinese. It just doesn't work. The other things, 有时候可以允许一点 sloppiness， 可是 tone 就不行。So, in English, it's the same basically. Stress is at least as important as tone in Chinese. You have to get the stress right, or we won't understand. If somebody keeps saying "huh, huh," they're not giving you a hard time. They probably really didn't understand. If you got the stress wrong, stress is so important. In addition, we don't just have word stress. We also have, what are the three levels? Compound noun stress, right? This is sui word stress the yizong, but it's a, a special kind. So those three levels we need to keep in mind, keep them separate. Word stress, zi the zhong yin, fu he ming zi the zhong yin is another level. Compound noun stress, and finally we have sentence intonation. Please review the article in the Shi De Magazine. About this, these three levels of stress, 叫做重音真的很重要。那篇大家再看一下 ，cause it has information that we'll be covering in this chapter. 就是诗的那篇重音真的很重要。再看一遍 ，you may get some new stuff out of it. We have sentence intonation, and the things we stress in a sentence, they reflect what? The biggest index reflected in sentence intonation is what? 就是句子的音调，它反映的最重要的一个指数是什么 ？I'll tell you and remember this because a lot of things will come back to it. Information value, information value. How important is it? How new is it? 它有多新鲜，多重要 ？That's information value. By important, we mean 实词 because 实词 carry more meaning. 它的 information value 比较高。跟虚词来比 ，they have higher information value. But even if it's a 实词 ，and we've already mentioned it once, what happens when we mention it the second time? Is it so 新鲜 the second time? No, information value goes down. So what happens in intonation? It becomes unstressed. So you see, sentence intonation is basically all about information value. How important, how 新鲜 how fresh and new something is. When it's important, it gets stressed. When it's new, it gets stressed. 细心研究 That's what sentences are. 非常的细心研究 As soon as it's 旧 it becomes unstressed. So this is really, really important. That's what you need to know. And because we've got these highs and lows of stress in a sentence. It makes it really hard to analyze and transcribe and reflect everything that's going on, but a spectrogram will show that to us. 重音会频率高，它会长还是短？有重音的时候，频率会很高。另外，长度呢是长还是短？长，对。然后另外，那个母音会很清晰吗？还是很弱化？很清晰 ，right? A full vowel, not. A reduced vowel in a stressed syllable, we get a full vowel. That's what this is about. Unstressed syllables will often get get reduced vowels. And finally, how about loudness? A stressed syllable is louder or softer? It's louder. That is not the most important thing. That's number four. But basically, pitch, length, 
vowel clarity, loudness. Those are the four things that you will find associated with stress syllables, okay? Important, that will be in the test, I can tell you right now. Mm, let's see. The key difference is the variation in degree of emphasis. This degree of emphasis is probably related to the amount of information that a word conveys. There it is. It says so right in the book. So you better underline that in case you forget. Write information value in the margin or in your notebook. Information value is really what is going on the whole time. We're, we're trying to manage information value and reflect it in our speech. So repetitions will, be al will almost always be reduced compared to the first mention. And here we will focus on the phonetics of reduction, the phonetics of reduction, not its semantics. 我们的重点不是语义, the citation speech, conversational speech difference is particularly noticeable for one class of words. Closed class words such as determiners Determiners is guanzi, that's what they call them now, determiners, in some systems of grammatical analysis, conjunctions, prepositions, and they could have also put in pronouns and helping verbs, right? Zudongzi. All of those are very rarely emphasized in connected speech. speech. We've already said that, and it's already in that Shida article. So the Shida article will help you review it's in Chinese, so it will be easier, I think, to, to absorb. So they will contrast with the pronunciations on either side of them. Now remember that stress is never an absolute. Remember one important thing about stress, it is always relative. It's always relative. Stress is always relative. It must form a contrast with something else. Then we get stress. If there is no contrast, if everything is loud, it's, it does no good because there is no contrast. What do you see in the whole picture? Are you going to see the black background or are you going to, are you going to focus on the flower? The flower. So you have to have contrast. So stress is a way of, 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 of putting in the foreground something that is important. Okay? Now, we're talking about closed class words. That's another word for function words. Xuzi. Closed class words are function words. We can invent a content word anytime, and we do invent them all the time. But the reduced forms, uh, words, the, the function words, those are in a limited, they're in a closed class. There's a limited number of them. Okay? But as with other words, these words have a strong form. So if we say T-O by itself, how do we pronounce it? Two, right. Uh, but if we put it in a sentence, it'll come out to, give it to me, give it to. It will be reduced in a sentence. So it has a strong form. And it has, there's a, there's a, there's a better example here. There's also a weak form, which occurs when the word is an unstressed position. We're going to have actually, um, no, here they have only two. That's good enough. So strong form and weak form. 没有中音的时候,通常是 weak form. All right. Um, we have another table that has three forms, but right now we're only talking about two. So um, look at the table here. We have A is the strong form of 那个不定冠词, uh. So a book, if I want to be very emphatic, but a book normally. And he and I are going, not he or I. So, 强调的时候, and, because the weak form is and, and, or n, but not eh, by the way, don't use eh. And, and uh, the next one is as, you learned as in school, but we often say as. This one you have to watch out for the strong form, because you didn't learn it in school, I don't think. As, for example, Dan has a as, as is the weak form. 
can, can. That's how you tell the difference between 肯定 and 否定. I can do it, I can't do it. Can't 会很强调. Can is reduced. I can do it. I can do it. Unless we are contrasting it with something else. You can or you can't. I can do it. 那是很强调, but normally it's I can do it. And you have the same problem in Chinese. For example, 要不吃水果? 要. 是肯定的还否定的? Are you sure? Look at my mouth. 要不要吃水果? 要. 是肯定的还否定的? You're not sure, right? So you probably say, 你到底要还是不要? Then they'll say, 不要. And then you get it. But do you normally say, 不要? No, you say, 不要. And yao. So they are quite similar. If you complain about can and can't in English, you have the same problem. Just so you know that. I know that from experience because I asked my children that question. I got the same answer three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if they wanted it or not. Okay. All right. It has other things here in the list like has becomes has, he. It says becomes e. It will often become e when it's on stress. So did he do it? Did he, did he do it? 没有中音的时候,那个H常常没有念。Her,其他的虚词,前面的那个H没有中音的时候,那个H可以不要念。Okay? It's her, it's her turn if it's stressed. It's her turn. It's her, uh, it's her bike,等等. Um, but I don't say he. I don't accept he. 我个人认为我没有讲he. So don't say he, say he. E and he are okay, but not he, in my opinion. So, um, most or must becomes must, must, uh -huh. he must go now. <coughs> she, I don't, I don't like she, so no, no she. It sounds like a bad word besides. All right, so that, that. I know that he's coming. I know that, I know that, that. But that one is the one I want. To and to Mexico. Would, would, ud. And that one can be reduced a lot, like in a contraction. I'd do it differently. I'd, that's a, that's a would. So it becomes very reduced in a contraction. I guess we'll break there. We're at the top of page 110. During the break, if you have been assigned an exercise to put on the board, put it on the board during the break. Try to be efficient. Put them in sequence. And the rest of you have your exercises ready. Get your red pen ready. Have your notebook ready so that we can get through them efficiently. If we have time, which I doubt, we'll go back to chapter five. Okay? Break time. We're just going to try to go through it fairly quickly, orally. Um, whose turn is it now? Why don't we just start here? We're going to start with Alex and we'll go vertically down each row. And have your <clears throat> exercises ready. Red pen ready. Mark in a different color pen if you don't have a red pen or a pencil or something, something that's a different color. And remember, you're going to count up the number of mistakes at the end, so keep track of what you're doing. Everybody listen carefully. You will have different examples. And by the way, some places, they gave you too many blanks. Did you notice? That's a new mistake. They didn't have that in the old edition. 对,这是新那个introduced的一个问题. So, mechanically, this book really needs improvement. I think content-wise, it's quite good. But mechanically, there have always been problems because people who are very busy and thinking very important things, we don't like to mess around with the details. But for a book this expensive, it's not expensive in Taiwan. It's expensive in America. Very, very expensive. 我现在忘了是多少,至少七十几块美金了,可能不止. For that, Price, I think that they can give us a carefully proofread book with all the mechanics, and they could improve the CD. They really need to improve the CD. Because it's, it's hard to find things, don't you think? So that is my criticism of this new edition. The old editions have the same problems, but the new one has additional problems. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alex? Hop. H O P and tall T A L L King K I N G. All right, what is statement two? Voiceless stops are aspirated when they are syllable initial. Can you explain hop to me? Does that have a, an initial voiceless stop? 
It has a final voiceless stop. So what should you have used instead? What's an example? Pop instead. Pop is fine, except I think it's in the text, so, but it, whatever, pop is good. I just pick, picked uh, some random words. I have what? Take, pay, uh, and crawl. Those are my examples. It doesn't matter. Um, let's go on. Statement three. And here we want seven examples. Let's go back to statement three. Obstruents, stops and fricatives classified as voiced, are voiced through only a small part of the articulation when they occur at the end of an utterance or before a voiceless sound. For example, in try to improve and the D when you say add to. The D is fully voiced, but the V is not. It's at the end. Go ahead. Um, step tag. S step. Uh, step tag. Ted. Ted. Mm. <laughs> what does it mean? Just step tag. Step. S T E P. Step. S T A B. Step. Step. Ah. <laughs> All right, now this is why we have so many vowel problems and voicing problems. I heard step. So there were two problems, no, three problems. Tell me the three problems. Okay, I'm not doing it to pick on you, but this is to help you. This will help you. What are the three problems? Why did I hear it as step Ted when it should have been? Right, number one problem. The vowel is not e. Eh. In this case, you need to go further. Usually I say put your jaw up, right? For example, and it's not ending, it's ending. But here it's the opposite. You need to put your jaw down lower, tongue lower. Sta, it's a, not e. Number two problem. Length. Length. It's too short. That's why I heard a short vowel, and I, it sounds like there was a voiceless sound after it. When it's so short, our brains say, ah, the next, that, that consonant at the end, is it voiced or voiceless? It's voiceless because it's so short. It must be voiceless. So that was the second problem. It was too short. Third problem was the voicing of the P. It should have been B, right? So three problems. So muin ding wei shi tao yao di tang du bu gou chang di san ge hou mian shi yao voicing. So step becomes stab. Wah, cha hen duo. So you just look at hou, look at hou mian yao voicing. Ji de ti xing zi ji muin yao la chang hen duo. Everyone, stab Ted. stab Ted. Now, I'm exaggerating, but not too much. Stab Ted, that's not exaggerating. Stab Ted. Stab Ted. All right, stab, I only voiced it halfway through, that's the point. Okay, go ahead, more. Um, <laughs> love Ted. Love Ted, after we stab him, we love him? <laughs> that's really contradictory, okay. Love Ted, all right, what else? Uh, uh, breathe together. Breathe together. That's a good one. Except remember to make it longer. And it does need to be voiced halfway through. We say that it's not voiced for the second half, but the first half needs to be voiced. And that's why this rule makes me nervous in Taiwan. You'll take it too seriously and you use it as an excuse for not voicing. Okay, so breathe together. Everyone, breathe together. Breathe Keep going. Hug, hug Ted. <laughs> Hurt Ted? H hug uh, hug Ted. Ted. That's voice. We need a voice sound. Hug Ted. Make it longer. Hug Ted. Okay. Another one? Uh, mm. I think Ted is really confused by now. Okay. <laughs> I don't have many. You should have one for each voiced obstruent, right? So we have b d g. We have z z. And v, ingai tremble do yo, right? So fuzz face, fuzz face, 就是脸上很多毛毛的这样子。大概是，嗯，十五岁的男生，十十三岁的男生 fuzz face， 开始有点毛。All right, um, these are just my examples for reference. Bad cat, hodgepodge， 就是一团糟。Bathe fast， 快快的洗澡。Ragtime is a kind of music style. Fuzz face, have heart. Ah, 同情我吧 Grab cash, 抓走一点钱 Okay, those are my examples. Let's go on to statement four next, please. You only need eight, so the last four blanks are not needed. Just cross them out. 
If you did more, that's okay, but that's Hua Shi Tian, so you don't have to. Go ahead. A bay, this bay. All right, let's just review the statements, otherwise they make no sense. Stops and fricatives are voiceless when syllable initial. So if it's at the beginning of a sentence or if it comes right after a, a voiceless sound, um, like uh, uh, if it comes after a voice sound, then they're voiced, right? Uh, I think that's enough. So otherwise, stops and affricates are voiceless when they're syllable initial. Go ahead. A bay, this bay. But here we want them to be voiceless, right? This is statement four. So we don't want a. Did they? It says that stops and affricates are voiceless when syllable initial. Oh, okay, so you're, oh, I see what you mean. But if you have a voiceless sound, what's your example again? Obey. Obey? Obey. No. Oh, I used to. Uh, B-A-Y, bay, yiga hai wan. Right, but that's, uh is voiced. So is b going to be voiceless or voiced? Voiced. Voiced because, and don't say voiced, it's voiced. Voiced, yeah, fix that one. B is still going to be voiced because the sound before it is voiced. So that's not an example of what we're talking about, right? We want a voiceless sound. So if you said, for example, what? Hit Bob. Hit Bob. That sound is voiceless, so Bob probably won't be voiced. Or Bob is coming soon. Not really voiced. Right? Does he know? Does. We don't say does he know. It's does he know. It's initial, so we're not going to voice it. But a dog, a dog, it's not initial. Chairman, your voice, the you in. Do you see how it works? Don't Can you fix your other examples now? Just take the uh off if you have an uh in front of it. Just, just take the uh off? Then you'll be okay probably. Okay. Oh, okay. So if I use this, is it fine? This is okay, this yeah. Is okay. Okay. Well, it doesn't, here, they're not asking for, well, they're not asking for what? They're not asking for fricative. So does this work? It says stop or, or affricate, right? Se yin and se cha yin. So the, is that a stop or an affricate? The. Is that a stop or an affricate? What is it? With more confidence, please? It's a fricative, right? The is a fricative. It's a fricative. So that doesn't work either. Let's try again. All you need is bdg, words that start with bdg. Boy. Uh huh. Dog. Yeah. Girl. Okay. Boy, dog, girl, those will do. And also, African. Judge. Judge, okay. Our old examples. Right, judge is always there for us. Um, Maybe what they wanted is that you put a voice sound in front of it to show that it becomes voiced when there's a voice sound in front of it. Maybe yeshu satada yong yi. Like break a break. Yeshu. Yeshu satada yi si. Okay, so um, statement four. We're only looking for buda ge je. Na gola. That's enough. We're going on to the next one. Okay, number five. So what are we doing in five? Voiceless stops are unaspirated after S. That's easy. Okay. Uh, sky, spy, sty. Right. However, they put that under statement six, right? Yeah. So this is actually, the book says statement six, but the, this, this one is actually for um, talking about, about, about rule number five. So spy, sty, sky. But are those in the book? It says... Your examples should not include any words that have been transcribed in this book so far. Have we had spy, sty, sky? Have we? Yes. 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 Sorry. Page 73. My point is, 他说课本上已经用过的例子不可以再用. Okay? 
and your examples are very old. <laughs> okay? Can you give me some new ones? Someone else? Spin, sting, and? Skate? Ski. 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 Okay? These are easy to find. Remember I told you a dictionary that can help you find words with a specific pattern? What's it called? One look, and they have a very good search uh, function you can use. So you just type S P asterisk, S P Xing Hao. You can find all kinds of words that start with S P. You don't have to dig through the dictionary yourself. So make sure that, and this is typical, I don't think it's just Taiwan, I think it's typical of students in general, and probably humans in general. Do we usually take a lot of time reading the instructions? If, you're, if you've bought a new gadget, are you going to spend a lot of time reading the manual? Nobody does, right? And that's why we often mess things up and we don't get, why doesn't it work? Well, we didn't follow the instructions. It's really important and things like this that you must read the instructions carefully. So it's a good thing we're checking it in class because if I just you would get them wrong. So no examples from the chapter. My, my personal examples are stick, spit, skip. But anything with S plus P, T, or K is fine. That's a word in English. Okay? Kaima. Let's go on to statement. It says statement six, um, but now uh, we've already done that one. Let's do this one that, that says statement five. It actually is seven. So the one that says statement seven is six. That's the one we want to do next. Let's go in order. So statement six, voiceless obstruents are longer than the corresponding voice obstruents when at the end of a syllable. Now this was something that, um, who was it that asked me a question about this? When you say pit, or let's say a different word, um, um, hit and hid, hit and hid. If I give you an example, a word all by itself, can you hear that the T at the end of the word is longer than the D? Can you hear it if it's just one word? How do you have to hear it? What do you have to do to hear it? Hit me. Hid me. If you put a word after it that starts with a consonant, then you can hear how long that stop is. So hit me. Hid me. Which one is longer? The first one is longer. Is that T or D? So the voiceless stop is longer than the voice stop. This is what they're talking about. So all of you, and um, we talked about it in class, but I didn't say specifically you should do it for this statement, for this, for this exercise. So the one that says, says statement seven, that's really about six, I want you all to put a word after your original word if you don't have a word after it. Because if you just say something like hit, pick, and, and what's the other one? Whatever. Words like that. They don't show us how long it is. You need to put a word after it that starts with a consonant, then you can really hear the difference. So for your reference, this is what I did. <clears throat> These are my examples. Hit him. Hid him. Laptop. Lab coat. You don't have to use my examples, but they will show you how to do it. They're just fanbin, that's all. Pickpocket. Pigtail. Matchstick, judgment. Did you all get them? I'm going to repeat them. This is so you know how to, how to hear the difference in length between a final voiceless stop and a final voice stop. Kaima, hit him, hid him, hit him, hid him. Laptop, lab coat. Do you notice something about the pitch of that final stop too? And this is important. Well, it'll come out come up in the future? Hit him, hid him. Listen to that final stop and hit and hid. What do you notice about the pitch? Which one has a higher pitch? Hid him, hit him. The voiceless has a higher pitch. So you'll find that voicing will drive the pitch down. And that's really important when you're studying Chinese linguistics. If you study this will be important because 
If you have a voice sound, it drives the tone down. 中文的声调很多被压低是因为浊音的关系。We'll we'll we'll learn about that in the future, or maybe you will in the future in another class. But voicing lowers the pitch. That's important to know. So, hit him, hit him. Laptop, lab coat. Pickpocket, pigtail. Matchstick, judgment. Those are my my examples. You need to put a word after it or a syllable after it that starts with a consonant in order to hear the difference in length. Is this part clear or not, everybody? Tinchuma. So whenever we talk about this, we discussed it on NTU Phonetics. You can go back to NTU Phonetics and you will see the discussion. Okay? Who was it that asked this question? I forgot. I'm sorry. Yo 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 ren yo ren wen guo shen men de words that ending with a voiceless stop hui bi jiao chang. Zen me ting de chu lai shi na wei wen de wang le. Oh, that was you. Okay, so now you all know, right? Let's go on to. Um, statement five, which is actually statement seven, and seven is the approximants are at least partially voiceless when they occur after initial put a k as in play twin q. Okay, so examples for statement seven, called five, but actually seven. Twice cute played and proud. Twice played cute and proud. proud. Okay, I think some of them may have been used, but those are good examples. So are we okay for statement seven now? Five turned into seven. So the the confused part is now over. We're now at statement eight. We want six examples for eight. Gestures for consecutive stops overlap so that stops are unexploded when they occur before another stop in words such as apt and rubbed. What are your examples?、Mm, a Adapt. Adapt. Good. Set. Set back. Set back. Set back. That's fine. Kicked. Kicked. Good. We don't say kicked. We say kicked. We don't usually explode it. Dumped. 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 Good. Dumped. Uh.、Mm. Wait. 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 Dumped. Wait. Uh. Dumped. D o u b t ma. Uh. D u b b e d. D u b b e d. Okay. Dubbed. That's good. All right. I heard voicelessness. That's why I thought it was dumped. You know, that's the closest. Dump is not a word. So make sure you're voicing at the end. We still need voicing. Everyone dubbed. If you say dumped, I'm not going to get it. It sounds like you have a cold and you're trying to say dumped. Okay, dumped. I dumped it out. So dubbed, dubbed. Those are all good examples. Do we have any questions on statement eight? Are we okay? Let's go to nine. In many accents of English, syllable final ptk are accompanied by an overlapping glottal stop gesture. So even if you don't have it, give some examples.、Mm, stop, start,、uh, stop, start, suck. All right. As long as it ends with、um, syllable final ptk, it's fine. Okay. I have pack, map, lit. Anything's fine. Statement ten. All right. What is statement ten? Let's go back and remind ourselves.、Um, In many accents of English, t is replaced by a glottal stop when it occurs before an alveolar nasal in the same word as in beaten. Examples?、Uh, kitten. Kitten. Good. Not. 另外一个也是 bitten， 但是是 b i t t e n. Okay, but then that's not same pronunciation. Bitten. Bitten. 那是短的 Okay. Written. Written. Okay, and I have cotton. 棉花 Those are good. Statement eleven. Let's go to eleven, and that one is. Nasals are syllabic at the end of the word when immediately after an obstruent, as in leaden chasm. Go ahead. Hidden. 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 Right. But we wouldn't say hidden. It's hidden. It's a good example. But see if you can learn nasal plosion. Hidden. 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 Okay. Garden. Uh-huh.、Mm-hmm. Uh, mechanism. 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 Okay. Um. All right, that's fine. That's good. Next one is、um, statement twelve a, which is liquids R and L, L and R are syllabic when at the end of the word immediately after a consonant. Go ahead. Are we ready?、Yeah. Title. Title.、Um, bottle. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Curl. But is it syllabic? Twelve a says that they're syllabic. So curl is that L syllabic? 
It's not curl, curl. 它并没有构成另外一个音节 So curl is an exception. Girl and curl are exceptions. What are your first ones? Their title. What else? Bottle. Bottle. Okay. Uh, riddle. 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 Riddle.
first one is Athen. Google. Spell? A N T H E N. Anthem. 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 Good. Okay, say it again. Anthem. Now it's clear. And second one is read them. Read them? Yeah. Okay. The third one is hit them. Hit them? Okay, and all you need is three. I have seventh, Corinth, Sigatiming, and filth, Angzang. Okay, as long as that's all clear. It's Yao Siga alveolar consonant before an interdental sound. And statement 15, alveolar stops are reduced or omitted when between two consonants. Okay? Um, my first example is ask to. Ask to, good. And second is best kind. Best kind, good. And third one, I, I wrote Chris Pie. Chris Pie. Yeah, but it should it be Chris. We have only alveolar. Chris, C R I S P. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not that's bilabial. Can yeah. you find an alveolar one? Mm. It has to be either T or D. T or D. Yeah. Right. The pie is okay. Burnt pie. Sao jala. Yeah. <laughs> Face on a crisp. <laughs> okay. 17. And our, sta <clears throat> our statement is a consonant is shortened when it is before an identical consonant. Go ahead. So 16 is a homorganic voiceless stop may occur after a nasal before a voiceless fricative followed by an unstressed vowel in the same word. Okay, this is the apenthesis rule. Go ahead. My first example is length. Length? <laughs> and the second is something. Something. And two different nasals. Oh yeah, you do have two different nasals. Also dancer, pincer, lengthen, hamster. Those are my examples. Long as you have uh, at least two different nasals before a voiceless fricative, you'll get an epenthetic consonant. Let's go on. Now, um, 17 gang to pao. Consonants shortened when it's before an identical consonant. Examples? A splendid dance. A splendid mm. dance, good. Mm. Terrific class. Terrific class, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mad <laughs> dog. Mad dog, good examples. I have rat tail, top part, pick cars. I picked voiceless ones. Statement 18, velar stops become more front before more front vowels, that's easy. Go ahead. Cat, mm -hmm. kite, coat, kill. That's fine, those all have different places in the vocal tract. And then statement 19 is, the lateral L is velarized when after a vowel or before a consonant at the end of a word. In other words, post-vocalic L. It's easier to say post-vocalic, moving ho to L, much easier. Go ahead. Let and tell. Let and tell, good. Light and tile. Right, that works okay. We're taking, we're taking shuang mu yin as a unit. We're not reversing the shuang mu yin. So light and tile is fine. Anybody else? How about pal, lap, etc.? cetera? And, and for B, <clears throat> this is open to anybody now. Did you find any exceptions to some of these statements? I've given you one in class. Remember, we just talked about one of the exceptions. Girl and curl, right? So we have a lot of systematic exceptions. How about another one? Um, I also say, uh, write this one. Um, girl and curl. Girl and curl. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy one. Anybody else? How about exceptions to another rule? How about, for example, the epenthetic rule? We found an interesting example one year that I have a note on. How about nigashang jia si Homesick. Do we have a P in there? No, we don't say homesick. That sounds totally ridiculous. So the rule may be for, it doesn't work in compounds. It's across a word boundary. Sometimes it doesn't work because you would not say homesick. You don't. It's ridiculous. We say homesick. So it doesn't always happen. Does anybody else have an interesting exception? Or even uninteresting? Any exception? Anybody? Hi, Yoma. Annie, do you have any? Okay, those are the ones that I found, and it was enough to answer the question, so I left it at that. And then how about, um, this also goes to anybody, a statement that describes the allophones of huh. 
What kind of statement? Well, whose turn? Maybe we should still go in order. Whose turn? I think maybe the albums of H is not aspirated, but I'm not sure whether it is a alphabet. Okay, what else can we, what, when is it not aspirated? Okay, that's spelling now. That's just spelling. We don't want to talk about the written language. We're talking about the spoken language. Where can we find something about H? Look at page 69, second to the last paragraph. Um, Karen, why don't you read the second, uh, the third sentence? From this? On uh, the second to the last paragraph, or oh, it's the third paragraph from the end on the page, and then the third sentence, it starts with at the beginning. At the beginning of a sentence. Beginning? Beginning right. of a sentence is like a voiceless vowel, but can also occur between vowels in words or phrases like behind the head. As okay, that's enough. Well, oh, I guess you can continue. As you move from one vowel through to another, the articulatory movement is continuous and the ha is signaled by a weakening of the voicing, which may not even result in, result in a completely voiceless sound. So, he, yuan zi shang is voiceless, right? It's just, it's just breathing. But is he always voiceless? No, he is not always voiceless. If it occurs where? Between vowels, like a head. Ahead, it becomes partially voiced, because huh usually will just will will be silence. We'll just have aspiration, almost silence. But if we have a vowel on each side, it will be partially voiced. Ahead, uh -huh. So all we have is the voicing in a uh and head. It gets a little weaker where the h is. Yuan lai voicing, dao di er ge mu yin de shi hao, zhong jian, na ge voicing hui ruo hua yi xie. But it's not completely voiceless. It's a head. It's usually a head. Yoidian voicing. So the rule is that H between vowels may be partially voiced. That's my rule. Okay? So we finished that. And now we, let's go very quickly through our diagrams. And it, unless there are questions. Let's go to our diagrams. Um, this will do orally. I want everybody just shout. Oh, no, shouting out doesn't work very well. Let's let's just continue. One person take one whole diagram. So let's go to our next reader. Just read the whole. Oh, I'll read the parts that are given, and you read what goes in the blanks. Before the vowel ends, and this is what are we talking about now? It's the consonants at the end of the word bench. Nch. So before the vowel ends, the soft palate. Lowers. Lowers or descends so that air comes out through nasal tract. Comes out through the nasal tract, can, can escape through the nose. 都可以从鼻子出来就对了. At the end of the vowel, the blade of the tongue is raised to make contact with alveolar ridge. the alveolar ridge, the preventing air from coming out through the oral tract. That's right, coming out through the oral tract or escaping through the mouth. The lips remain open, open or apart. 都可以. The vocal folds continue to vibrate. To vibrate or vibrating. Yakoi. All right, we're done with the first one. Let's go on to the second one. Are you ready? Then the, the soft palate the is raised. The soft palate or the velum is raised and the and the front of the tongue is raised. The front of the tongue, yeah, it's the front. It's going to the center. You can see that being raised too. So front and center would okay to show. Because you can't do one without the other. Well the uh, while well, the blade of the tongue remains the, in the same place. All right, the blade is in the same place, that's true. Um, the tip is also pretty much in the same place, but the blade is what's involved in this articulation. And then the lips become more... Rounding. Rounded. rounded. More rounded or labialized. Labialized or rounded, the vocal folds uh, stops vibrating. Stop? Huh? Stop. A, yeah, I mean, stop it's full shoe, so we need no S. Yeah, they stop vibrating, they're apart, they are not vibrating. Is everybody following? Hi, Koima. 
Okay, let's go on. Then the next one, the velum. The velum or soft palate remains Close. closed or raised bokai, throughout the end of the word. After a short period, the blade of the tongue. Blade of the tongue moves forward, but the oh, what are we doing? The tongue itself, I think, moves downward, not forward, downward. The the tongue moves downward, but the blade of the, the tongue. blade remains close enough to the alveolar ridge to make a turbulent air. Very good. To cause turbulent or noisy airflow to cause a turbulent or noisy airflow. So the way I did it is the, the tongue moves downward, but the blade, tongue but the blade remains close enough to the alveolar ridge to cause turbulence or noise in the airflow. And the leaps. Not leaps. Lips to tell you. Leaps to tell you. Lips. Uh-huh. Everybody lips. Now leaps to tell you. The lips are they're closer. They're closer to each other. Sunita Isama. Okay, so we're going, we're saying bench. 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 Are they closer to each other? Bench. Not really, no. So the lips are? They are? They're rounded. They're apart, right? They're open. We already talked about the rounding. That's, uh, they're, they're labialized. We already did talk about that. So if you put that in, it's okay. It's correct. They are rounded. They're open. They're labialized. All of those are true. They're not closed. And the vocal folds do not vibrate. Do not vibrate, are not vibrating, are apart, are open. All right, next is annotation. Let's quickly look at... Um, Oh, not this yet. Sorry, that's in a minute. Let's have our next reader. Can you just read your whole description for the first figure? Uh, the soft palate lower. The so velum or soft palate is lower. Next. Um, the center of the tongue moves upward. Moves upward. All right, we're looking at implant. Does it really matter what our tongue is doing? Implant. Does it really matter what our tongue is doing? Now, remember when we were talking about for bilabials? For bilabials, it doesn't really matter what your tongue is doing. So I said, your tongue is not touching anything except the upper teeth at the sides. But your tongue is not touching anything. It's not doing anything special, really. If you want to say it's raised, yeah, it is raised there. It's true. Implant. But we don't need to do anything special with the tongue, OK? The lips are close to each other. Um, they're not just close to each other, they're closed. They're closed. Yeah, the lips touch each other. They're pressed together is what I said. And? And the vocal folds continue vibrating. They are vibrating. They continue to vibrate is good because we had a vowel before it. Good. How about the next figure? Um, then the tip of the tongue makes contact with the alveolar ridge for the... Uh, is it? Yeah, implant. It's true, but there's something we have to do right away. And let's just go in order. Just follow the order of the previous page. So what, what will we mention first? Uh, the velum is, velum is raised. raised. Right? The velum or soft palate, yeah. And the tip of the tongue um, makes contact with the alveolar ridge. OK. so. It's the second one, it probably will make contact. It's heading there and it probably already touches. Go ahead. And the uh, lips are still closed for the mm. That's right. The lips are still pressed together. They're still closed. Good. And the vocal folds are not vibrating. That's right. And I added, and hold back the compressed air in the oral tract. So the lips are together and they're holding back the compressed air in the oral tract. I think, did he mention something about, um, yeah, I guess he didn't say we have to say that, but I think that's important. So the lips are closed, closed or pressed together. They're holding back the compressed air in the oral tract. And the vocal folds, sorry? Oh, the vocal folds are not vibrating. Not vibrating, they're open. We're done. We're no, okay. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Should be okay. Why don't we start at the front since we're here? First, the villa remain raised. V, 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 v,
remains. Remains. No, it's not remains. It's 妹妹的妹 Remains. Remains. 妹妹吗？ Remain, remains, meme. Meme. You have meme, mama. If you don't say meme, you shouldn't say remains. Remains. Say Chinese. Don't say English. Meme. Yeah. Remains. Remains. Meme. Remains. Remains. You're saying meme. Remains. When you try to think English, you you make a strange sound. But if you say Chinese, it's perfect. Mei mei. Just say mei. Mei. Yeah. Remains. Your n. Main. Remains. There we go. Remains. Yes. Rem the villain remains. There we go. But villain needs more e. Yeah. The villain remains. The villain remains. You got it. Raised. Good. And the tip of the tongue. 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 Mm -hmm. Touches the alveolar ridge. Okay. Remains touching. I put 持续 because it's still touching. Go ahead. And the lip is labialized. Uh, the lips are labialized. All right, for impl, impl. Are they labialized? Impl, probably a bit, but the point is that they're apart. apart. They're apart. Yeah. And uh, the vocal folds.、Um, okay, air. We have to talk about the air. The air, the air goes through the vocal tract. And. And.、Uh, We're not to the vocal folds yet. We have to say that the air passes out from one or both sides of the tongue. We're on L, right? 描述的是 L. It's 它最重要是一个变音 So air is passing out from one or both sides of the tongue. We have to put that in. Yeah.、Okay. And and the vocal folds is are 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 apart. They're for u. It could be. They could be. But the picture doesn't say that. The picture says it's voiced. They're voiced. Plant, so they could be after plant because p is voiceless, but <clears throat> but here they're voiced. That's the way they do it. And let's let's quickly look for thick snow. K s n k. Velum's raised. Back of the tongue comes close to the velum. Who wrote this? To say that. Okay, velum, velum. Yeah, or the soft palate. <coughs> The vocal folds are not vibrating,、um, and the lips are separated. All right. So for thick, it doesn't just come close. For k, it has to touch. For k, it has to make contact. So we have to we have to draw it this way. So it's closed and it's touching. Okay, and then the vocal folds are not vibrating. And then for s, here we have soft palate is raised or the velum is raised.、Um, the back of the tongue, first of all, lowers. The tip of the tongue gets very close to the alveolar ridge, and allowing air. To escape turbulently or noisily from between the tongue tip and the alveolar ridge. For s, did you all hear that? Lisa, you don't have to write it in the exact same way, but so I have the back of the tongue lowers, and immediately after that, the tip of the tongue gets very close because he said、um, it says here to pay attention to what happens first, right? Note especially whether the back of your tongue lowers before or after the tip of the tongue forms the articulation. Does it happen before or after? Does the back of your tongue lower before or after the tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge? Thick snow, thick snow, thick, thick. For me, it happens first. The back of the tongue comes down first, then. The tip of the tongue goes to the alveolar ridge, gets very close, and it allows the air to pass very turbulently between the tongue tip and the alveolar ridge. Do we have questions? Anybody disagree there? For me, I tried it many times. I have to get rid of that k. The back of the tongue comes down first, and then the tongue goes forward. That's that's the way it works for me. I tried it several times. The lips are apart, and the vocal folds are not vibrating. And then the last one. 
is for n, the velum is, the soft palate is lowered, the tip of the tongue touches the back of the teeth. Probably not the back of the teeth, it touches the alveolar ridge. I don't, I don't dentalize it myself. No, no. It sounds like I have a lisp if I do that. Okay, so, for me it's alveolar ridge. So the tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge. Um, the lips are apart, the lips are rounded, snow. Rounding is good that you noted the rounding. Snow, because of the O, your lips are rounded. And air, pa air passes through the nostrils. The vocal folds are vibrating. We have to mention that the air goes through the nostrils and not out of the mouth. It doesn't come out of the mouth. I think that's important to mention. Because nasalized sounds like eh, yeah. we have the air coming from both the nose and the mouth, but here it's only coming out of the nose. Sn no air coming out of the mouth. And air exits through the, no the nostrils, through the nasal tract and the vocal folds are vibrating. Okay, so the tongue tip is blocking the air from coming out of the mouth. We only got up to exercise F, we finished F. And that's as far as we're going to make it. So again, I will have to postpone the test. I think there are still so many questions. <clears throat> so we'll postpone it till the time, till next Monday. For Wednesday, we're gonna to have to work hard on chapter five to get through it fast, because we still have chapter four. But I want all of you to go through your exercises again, correct them carefully. Because a lot of you gave answers that were not what the question wanted. Are you all listening now? I know the bell has rung, but we need to be clear on this. So go over your exercises carefully. Before Wednesday. We're going to finish marking them. Okay? All right, we will see you on Wednesday. <laughs>